Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is particular integral. This is a topic from first unit linear differential equation with constant coefficients. The particular integral means the remaining half solution for LD linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Uh, in first two, uh, first lecture, I discuss the first half solution complementary function. Uh, we will discuss a particular integral. Uh, the reduced form of LD is phi of D into Y is equal to F of X. This is the reduced form of LD. Now, to find the PI, the formula is Y P, Y sub X P, P for particular integral is equal to one upon phi of D into F of X. Now, this formula is from the reduced form of LD. We transfer this phi of D in RHS where the formula for pi it is equal to 1 upon phi of d into f of x. It is pi depends on the function f of x. Now there are three methods to find pi. The first one is general method. Second method is shortcut method. Third method is method of variation of parameters that is VP method. Now the rules for general method that first rule is uh, 1 up pi is equal to 1 upon d into f of x. 1 upon d means you just integrate the function f of x with respect to x. Second is pi is equal to 1 upon d minus a into f of x. And uh, it is, the formula is it is equal to e to the power ax into integration e to the power minus ax f of x dx. The third formula is pi is equal to 1 upon d plus a into f of x. And it is equal to e to the power minus ax into integration e to the power ax f of x dx. Now the example, find the pi for 1 upon d plus 2 into x. Here function is x, linear function is here. And the factor is d plus 2, means d is equal to minus 2. So use the third formula here. And the formula is here e to the power minus 2x into, into integration e to the power 2x into x dx. Now how to solve this integration e to the power 2x into x? And the, to solve this integration use u into v rule. Now what is u into v rule? General formula is here. Integration uv dx is equal to u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 and so on where suffixes denote integrations and dashes denote the derivatives. So use here that uh, uv rule, and this e to the power minus 2x as it is. Now what is u and what is v here? The choose u as, to choose u the function whose derivative vanish earlier as compared to the other function. Now here derivative of x vanishes earlier as compared to the derivative of e to the power 2x. So choose u, Choose x as u and choose uh, e to the power 2x as v. And use this uh, formula uv dx, u into v1. This e to the power minus 2x as it is, u into v1, u is here x, so write x as it is, v1, integration of e to the power 2x, integration of e to the power 2x is e to the power 2x upon 2 minus, second term is u dash v2. Now u dash means derivative of u. Now u is here x, derivative of x is 1, so we write here 1. Then v2 means integration of v1. v1 is here e to the power 2x by 2. Its integration is e to the power 2x upon 2. And already one, uh, already 2 is there, so 2 to the 4. And so if we simplify it, we have the pi, e to the power minus 2x in bracket, x into e to the power 2x by 2 minus to the power 2x by 4. This is the answer. Now the second example of general method. Solve d square plus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to e to the power e to the power x. Now this is the reduced form of LD. It means it is in the form of phi of d into y is equal to f of x. So phi of d is d square plus 3d plus 2. Equate it equal to 0. This is an auxiliary equation. Now it is a quadratic equation. So it has two factors. And the factors are d is equal to minus 2 minus 1. The so this there are uh, two factors 
minus 2 minus 1. These are the real numbers and they are distinct. Distinct means different. So complementary function is c1 e to the power minus 2x plus c2 e to the power minus x. Now the pi for the function here function is e to the power e to the power x. Now the formula for pi is 1 upon phi of d into f of x. So your phi of d is here d square plus 3d plus 2. So right here d square plus 3d plus 2 into f of x. f of x is the function e to the power e to the power x. Now the factors of d square plus 3d plus 2 are uh, d plus 2 and d plus 1 because 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and the multiplication of 2 and 1 is 2. So the factors d plus 2, d plus 1 into e to the power e to the power x. Now there are two factors in denominator. So we will solve one by one. First we will solve for 1 upon d plus 1 and then we will solve for 1 upon d plus 2. So 1 upon d plus 2 as it is, we will solve for 1 upon d plus 1. Now the function is e to the power e to the power x. So use the third formula of general method. It is this first term as it is e to the power minus x inside the integral e to the power x to f of x. f of x is e to the power e to the power x into dx. Now how to solve this integration? To solve this integration, use the substitution e raised to x is equal to t. And the substitution is e raised to x is equal to t. So the differentiation is e raised to x dx is equal to dt. So e raised to x into dx is equal to dt. And e raised to x substitution is t. So e raised to t into dt. Now e raised to minus x as it is, integration of e raised to t is e raised to t. e raised to minus x as it is. Now replace this t by e raised to e raised to x. So it is e raised to minus x into e raised to e raised to x. Now it is 1 upon d plus, now solve for 1 upon d plus 2. Now the new function is here, e raised to minus x into e to the power e raised to x. This is your new, new function now after solving for d plus 1. Now solve for d plus 2. Again use the third formula of general method, e raised to minus 2x into inside the integral e to the power 2x and your f of x is this function now e raised to minus x into e to the power e to the power x. Now the base is same so addition of indices is here 2x minus x is x. So the term is e to the power minus 2x in, into integration e to the power x into e to the power e to the power x dx. Now how to solve this integration? Put again e raised to x is equal to t and e raised to x dx is equal to dt. And so the next step is e to the power minus 2x into integration, e raised to x dx is dt, and this e raised to x is t, so integration e raised to t dt. Now the integration of e raised to t is e raised to t, e raised to t, and the value of t is e raised to x, so put here t is equal to e raised to x. So pi is e to the power minus 2x into e to the power e to the power x. Now the general solution y is equal to cf plus pi. So it is equal to now the cf is here. And this is the cf complementary function c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus x. So right there cf and then particular integral is e to the power minus 2x into e to the power e to the power x. So this is the general solution for the given LDE. And this is the first general method. Here the general method is over. Thank you.